Dear students, in this session of software engineering, we will discuss about the function oriented software design. And in this video, we will discuss about structure design. Structure in the structure design, we discuss about structured analysis, structure design methodology, and basic some important features of structured analysis and structure design. And we will discuss about the transformation of DF, DFD model to structure chart. There are two techniques for the transformation of DFD model to structure chart. One is the transform analysis and another is transaction analysis. We already have discussed about the transform analysis in the previous video and in this video we will discuss about transaction analysis in detail. What is function oriented software design? The function oriented software design techniques are still very popular as these were proposed in late 1970s. After the top down decomposition, the different identified functions are mapped into the modules and the module structure is created. This module structure would possess all the characteristics of good design. Here in this session, we will discuss about the structure analysis and structure design methodology. The major work on this methodology was done by Constantine and Jordan, Hartley and Perby, DeMarco and Jordan, and Gain and Sarsen. The SASD technique can be used to perform the high level design of software. The structured analysis, structure design methodology involves two distinct activities. One is structured analysis and another is structure design. In the structured analysis, the, the structured analysis activity transform the SRS document into a graphical model called as DFD model. During structured analysis, the functional decomposition is performed. The functional decomposition means the high level functions are decomposed successively and it is technically known as top down decomposition. And in the structure design, all the functions identified during the structured analysis are mapped into a module structure. This module structure is called a high level design or software architecture of the problem. This is represented using structured chart. The DFD model and the structured chart is shown in the figure. SASD technique results in high level design. And the high level design is followed by the detailed design. And during the detailed design, the algorithms and data structures of the individual modules are designed and detailed design can be implemented as a working system by the use of some programming language. Structured analysis versus structured design. The purpose of structured analysis is to capture the detailed structure of the system as the user views it. It is based on the principles of top-down decomposition and on the divide and conquer approach where each function is considered and decomposed further into sub-functions. That is, the DFD model is created and the DFD graphically represents the results of the structured analysis. The aim of the structure design is to transform the result of structured analysis. DFD model, uh, that is, the, to convert the DFD model into the structure chart and to arrive at a form that is suitable for the implementation in some programming language. During structured design, the functions represented in the DFD are mapped to module structure. A structure chart represents the software architecture. The structure chart representation can be easily implemented using some programming language. The main focus of the structure chart is on the module structure of the software 
and the interaction among the modules. Some basic or units or symbols are used to draw the structure chart. Like rectangular box is used to represent the module, arrow pointing downwards at an angle represent the function call or module being invoked and arrow with circular tail represent data element, arrow with shaded circular tail represent the control element, diamond box is used for indicating the decisions and the arc with arrowhead represent the iterations. For the details of the structure chart, please see the previous video on the structure chart. We already have discussed about the structure chart in different video. This slide represents the layered design and the poorly layered design. And the design which is shown and the figure in the figure, the second figure um, is uh, should uh, the second figure should be avoided, where the first uh, figure is the layer design and it should be followed. In any structure chart, there should be one and only one module at the top that is called a root module. And in the figure, M1 uh, is shown as the root module, and uh, M2, M3, and M4, M5 are the sub modules. And there should be uh, at most one control relationship between any two modules in the structure chart. If, for example, if a module, if a module in A invokes module B, then module B cannot invoke module A. The bo both the layered and poorly layered design is shown in the figure. Next is the transformation of DFD model into the structure chart. Structure design provides two techniques for transforming the DFD to structure chart. First is the transform analysis and transform analysis we already have discussed in the previous video. And in this session we will discuss about the transaction analysis in detail. Some steps, some steps are followed for the transaction analysis. Transaction processes, uh, processing is an alternative to the transform analysis and is useful for designing of transaction processing programs. In the transaction analysis, the different data items may be passed to the different computations path through the DFD. This is contrast to the, to the transform centered system where each data item entering the DFD goes through the same processing steps. In the transaction analysis, the number of bubbles on which the input data to DFD are incident defines the number of transactions. However, some transactions may not require any input data. These transactions can be identified from the experience for solving the, by solving the large number of examples. Next is how the DFD is converted into the structure chart. From the DFD, the structure chart is created. And in the structure chart, first root module is created. And that is considered as the top module. In the figure, transaction center is considered as the top, uh, top module or you can say root module. Each transaction carry the tag identified by its type. Transaction uses this tag to divide the system into transaction modules and the transaction centered module. In the figure, the general structure chart is drawn where root module is represented as the transaction center. Transaction center invokes three sub modules that is type one module, type two module, and type 3 module. So arrow is drawn from the transaction center module to the sub modules. In the figure, all the modules are represented as a rectangle. In the figure, T1, T2, and T3 are identified transactions from the, from the given data flow diagram. Type 1 modules 
handles the T1 transaction and type 2 modules handles T2 transactions and type 3 modules handles T3 transactions. And the general this is the general figure and of structure chart and is shown in the diagram. Next is to understand the transaction analysis. Example of inventory system is considered in which sale process is considered in detail. The main features of the systems include that the system has set of customers and customer places the orders with it for the different kinds of commodities. Once the order is placed, the account department of the system checks the credit worthiness of the customer. If the customer is not credit worthy, then his orders are not processed. If the customer is credit worthy, then the orders he has ordered are checked against the list of items that are there for the system. The items in the customer's orders are checked for the availability in the inventory system. The purchase department of the system should be allowed to issue the comma commands to generate the indents. When the command to generate the indent is issued, then the system should examine the pending order to determine the orders that are pending and de to determine the total quantity required for each of the items. The system should also answer the managerial queries regarding the statistics of different items sold over the over any period of time. The figure shows the context diagram of the inventory system or this con context diagram is also called as zero level DFT. For the details of data flow diagram, please see the previous video of structured analysis where data flow diagram is considered in detail. Here the in the context diagram, the sale process is considered as single process and the external entities like manager, customer and purchase department are represented as rectangles. And arrow shows the uh, data flow in the data flow in the diagram. Then next in the next step, the uh, DFD or context level DFD is decomposed further into level 1 DFD. One level DFD is drawn from the context diagram and the process sales process is further decomposed into sub processes that is accept order, process order and process query or process indent. Input to this D DFD are handled in three different ways that is accept orders, accept indent request and handle query. So it was found that there are three transactions corresponding to the shown figure of the DFT. Next is how to transform this uh, DFD into the structure chart. By observing the level 1 DFD as shown in the figure that is the first figure, it was found that the data input to the diagram are handled by different bubbles uh, and so the transaction analysis can be performed on this DFD. Input to this level 1 DFD that is shown in the first figure that is the top figure are handled in di three different ways that is accept orders, accept indent request and handle query. So it was found that there are three transactions corresponding to the shown figure of the DFD. To convert the given DFD or consider DFD into the structure chart, first of all the root module is drawn at the top and is represented as a rectangle that is shown in the lower figure that is the bottom figure that is means second figure. Now, as per the steps of transaction analysis and from the one uh, first level DFD, it was found that 
there are three transactions so all the three transactions are handled by the three different processes so th three modules are drawn under the root module that is handle order module handle indent module handle query module the root module invokes three sub modules so the invoking arrows are drawn from the root module to the three sub modules as shown in the second figure from the dfd it is clear that to handle the orders the orders are collected accepted and processed so the structure chart that is shown in the second figure is further refined in which the handle order invokes two sub modules that is get order module and process order module and the orders are returned by the get order module and the accepted orders are then processed by process order module this is how the dfd can be converted into structure chart by use of transaction analysis students if you have not seen the previous videos of this channel then there is a link of playlist of all the previous videos